In this video, I'll demonstrate how to open clean, disassemble and reassemble a remote. If you do have a remote and you spill a drink on it and it's not functioning, this is how to open your remote mostly all remotes would be the same but you would have to have a visual to see if your remote has screws this one doesn't have it's clumping in now mind you when doing this you will mark your remote this is the second video on this remote I showed how to open it now I will show the procedures how to clean it before I begin if you're new to this channel please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos let's begin first thing you would need to take out the battery at the back of your remote If you notice this remote has some liquid here which means something spilled on it. I don't have the TV with me. I brought it back but I needed to get some alcohol so I would clean the remote. If you notice all here you could see there was a spill or something on the remote you would need a pry tool or something flat I have this and that you there is a groove here you would take your pry tool and you would get it into that groove without stabbing yourself It's a struggle to get <coughs> the pry tool in, but once you get it in, you would uh, try gliding it down. Until there is a gap. I have a second pry tool which I would be using also. This is it. If you notice there are some tabs here and inside there where it's hooking then you take out the board and have a visual inside if you notice the corner here there is something like sugar it's like a piece a liquid piece which means something fell into this remote you take your rubbing alcohol <coughs> if you can hear that fan coming on I'm 
discharging some batteries. I have a little cup which I would pour some alcohol in it and close so I won't have a spill. Then you take your Q-tip. I will clean the board first. You will dip your Q-tip in the liquid, rubbing alcohol and pass it on the contacts of your remote. If you notice then you dip again and you'd pass rubbing alcohol on all these black I would say dots that's what would make the contact on this There are times the remote will work but one or two keys won't be functioning. You would open it and do the same thing. Clean the board and clean these contacts here. You could also use soap, mild soap and warm water. Not, not nothing harsh, not no harsh soap because this is rubber. You won't use nothing to melt the rubber. Once you got it clean, then you take the housing of the remote and clean the inside. That's if you notice any gum in it. In this one I notice it had some gum or should I say a paste something like sugar you know when you mix sugar and you leave it there for some time and it drying up it leaving something like a piece then you do the same with the <coughs> top piece Although I didn't see the liquid in this piece, only that and the back of that. But since you have it open, it's always wise to go through it.
then you would wipe it and make sure to get all liquid out the thing is that with the rubbing alcohol it will evaporate Now once you've got <coughs> all the liquid out, then you'll start reassembling your remote. Just make sure the spring is in. This has some um, holes. It has some holes here and some, I would say, tabs. You just line it up. Make sure it's lined up. And then you take your top piece and uh, put it back and just press and it would uh, click in you take your batteries put them back make sure you have the plus to plus minus to minus and this is it and this is all there is in cleaning any remote it doesn't have to be a samsung remote but any remote you just have to have a visual make sure your remote doesn't have screws if it don't have screws then you take your spudger get the seam fit your spudger into the seam and start prying 
the remote you will mark your remote because it's a plastic while trying to dig the spatula in it would also damage the remote this is all the, there is to it if you find this video was informative please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos i try to put out a video every friday sometimes uh, during the week if i have some repairs to do i would do a video on it as you notice on the channel i into computers uh, cell phones uh, batteries and so forth thank you until the next one goodbye